Welcome to part 8 of Democracy vs. Dictatorship in City Skylines. And in this episode, as you can see now, some beautification is happening around uh, the liberal city's cathedral, but then I move on to laying out the dictatorship city, which I think hopefully will be a bit more interesting to watch because uh, you get a good understanding of how it looks and how it lays out, and you also see that the roads are way way bigger and they never line with trees and there's way more concrete and it just looks a bit more authoritarian I haven't really thought about I'm not sure if I'm gonna place zoning in that city because I'm having problems getting the uh, the Soviet style to work but I definitely have uh, a lot of options on the Rico mod the recall to the Rico tool or whatever that's called so I might just place each building there individually because there's way more brutalist and authoritarian structures in the Rico mod than there is in that uh, tile set, that mod set. I don't know how to call that. Um, so uh, the majority of this uh, episode will be planning and looking out uh, for the future. So um, what else can I talk about? Well, um, you can see me place some of the monuments in the uh, dictatorship city. I used the um, Rangyong Hotel, I think it's called, from North Korea. That huge giant uh, evil pyramid looking thing that looks like a uh, supervillain built it. I'm putting that inside um, a sort of uh, roundabout like structure. The roads look a bit different in the dictatorship city um, and way way bigger. I think I've used pretty much the largest highway that I could in this game and it looks a bit ridiculous and what's even great about it is that hardly anyone is using it which makes it even more what I'm going for but uh, who knows how long that will last because this game literally has millions of people all the time running around and it's kind of hard to make a exact uh, police state like feeling from that um, I also should mention that um, once I sort of more or less finished the um, layouts and some of the zoning and the beautification of the city centers uh, before I move on to the rural areas I will do a little walkthrough and I will click on all the zone options that I have for instance in the in the uh, dictatorship city there will be uh, harsh prison sentences and this kind of that this kind of thing and in the uh, the liberal city there will be uh, you know recreational use and these kind of things. I think I talked about this before but I will show you that as I do that so it won't be in a time-lapse form so you can sort of see what's going on uh, and also you can see my, right now that I'm lining around the river to make it as perfect as I can. I like how it turned out, but um, maybe it needs a bit more work. I also uh, got inspiration uh, to build uh, the dam at the end of that river from North Korea. I think they built a huge dam in their, um, uh, in their country that literally blocked off um, their ability to farm their land or something like that. I mean, it just blocked off the arable land and now they have a, a huge dam that literally does nothing for the country. Um, the concept about the dam here is that it cuts off the river from the rest of the world so they can't actually escape by river. They can only go the other direction which leads more into the totalitarian country which is probably as horrible as this city would be to live in. Um, and also, I don't know, sometimes dams just remind me of uh, communist cities a bit more. I don't know why, I don't know why, but they, they tend to like to build them. So that was the concept behind that. I hope that is enough to whet your appetites for the dictatorship city. And what will come in the next episodes will be more uh, Rico mod tools, placing buildings in the, in the city, um, as well as more layouts and this and that. So I will leave it there and I hope to see you in the next part where more of the dictatorship city will be built. Will be, will be built. Oh God, my mouth is not good today. <laughs> uh, see you in the next episode.
Wow, you watched all the video! If you like what you see, click in one of these boxes to see me play Planet Coaster and subscribe if you want to motivate me. And also, thanks for watching!